హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు ద పెగా ఇంటర్వ్యూ క్వశ్చన్స్ సెషన్ త్రీ సో వీ విల్ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ వేరియస్ ఇంటర్వ్యూ క్వశ్చన్స్ దట్ కెన్ బీ ఆస్క్డ్ దోస్ కెన్ బీ ఆస్క్డ్ ఇన్ ద ఇంటర్వ్యూ రిలేటెడ్ టు యాక్టివిటీ ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ హౌ టు క్రియేట్ యాక్టివిటీ వీ కెన్ క్రియేట్ ఇన్ మల్టిపుల్ వేస్ ఫర్ సపోజ్ రైట్ క్లిక్ ఆన్ ద క్లాస్ వేర్ వీ వాంట్ టు క్రియేట్ ద యాక్టివిటీ క్రియేట్ technical and activity so i'm giving the activity name as sam activity okay create and open now if you see um the first question will be whenever we create a activity we get the gardel warning that means pega is not suggesting to create the activities instead pega is suggesting us to create the data transforms why so the question can be like why do we need to create the activity when we have the data transform that is one question and the interview questions can always be various like the same question can be asked in different ways for suppose if i am doing an interview i would like to ask recently have you ever created the activity and why why do you need to why did you need to create the activity i can ask something like that why can't you do the same thing using the data transform so the question can be in different ways but you need to understand the situation so if question comes in any way you can answer to that question now the question is why do we need to create activity when we can do everything in data transform we will answer to that question and the next question is do we get always get the uh, gardel warning for activity and what are the various types of activities for suppose if we go to security tab of the activity we can see the activity type okay this can be another question they will ask um, what type what are the activity types that you worked on you can tell like i created the declare trigger so the declare trigger activity is a activity type is trigger and i created utilities mostly we have the inflow we have the shape utility shape we can mention like i have created utility type activities if we create any activity as a utility type we don't get that warning got a warning so in real time when we get that got a warning we change the activity type from activity to utility okay it's just to, to skip the got a warning and yeah we have to we'll go through every like uh, all these activity types later so for answer to the first question why do we need to create a activity instead of data transform there are few things activity only can do and uh, we cannot achieve in the data transform for suppose if you see we have the branch queue methods we have different type of methods which we can only achieve in activity and we can't do all these we cannot perform these actions in the data transform for suppose connect connect methods we cannot do in data transform instead we can do in data pages and mainly obj methods all these obj methods we cannot do in the data transform and uh, rdb methods we have rdb methods yeah like this we have different different types of other methods also for suppose uh data flow execute data set execute okay so these are the kind of like a uh, uh, methods which we can only perform in the activity so you can answer like there are few actions that we can only achieve in activity for example we can do obj method we can call obj methods only in activity we can't do in data transform we can call rdb methods we can execute data flows data sets 
and we can do um, q for agents q for processing q for agent for that is for the agent um, q for agent is, is for the standard agents q for processing is for the q process so these are the methods that we can perform in activity but we cannot do in the data transform you can answer like that okay now the next question so now we will go through each method and understand vaguely okay so first one what is the call method for related to call method interview questions mainly they will ask what is the difference between call branch queue methods this is a repeated interview question that will be asked that is being asked nowadays call branch queue these three methods are used to call another activity okay what is the main difference is if we call the one activity for suppose call i gave call i have i have one activity test activity and i can branch to test activity and q after q after call after branch when i give space and down arrow then we get the list of activities showing for the class if you click on more whatever the classes that are there in the inheritance path they will be displayed you know that right so now the main difference once the call method is executed the control will go inside the test activity that is called activity once that activity is completed then the control will come back to it come back here and execute the next steps that means here in this situation sample activity will start then it will call this activity that means control will go inside this test activity once test activity is completed then it will come back here and check the status and then come to the second step second step will be executed that means call will expect the return from the called activity branch branch is something like we would like to branch the control to this activity called activity then the control will not come back to this activity okay for suppose first step is completed we are branching this control to this test activity once the it is branching the control will go to this activity once this activity is completed then the it will be done it will not come back to this called activity again that is the branch meaning q what is the q q means if you want to execute this activity asynchronously okay parallelly we have the four steps in this activity in the third step we call the q test method we use the q method to call this test activity what happens here is the control this test activity will be executed in a separate thread parallel to this activity okay that means in third step when third step is started a new in a new thread this test activity will start executing and this this activity will not wait for this test activity it will continue it will go it, it will continue to the next step that means the sample activity after triggering this one it will execute the next steps the test activity will be executed in a separate thread these two will be parallelly executing so this is the main difference first one is call activity will be moving the control to the called activity once called activity is completed then the, the control will come back to this activity and this activity the remaining steps will be executed in branch if we branch an activity we are giving moving to the called activity and the, the control will not come back to this activity and the follow steps will not be executed so better to not have the branch branch as a last step 
or if you want to call this conditionally by giving some conditions in the pre then we can have the later steps q q is something asynchronously to call activity asynchronously something that is not depending on this activity or this process we want to do like a separate kind of work separately so if you want to perform this we can queue it and have it in the background okay and for these for all these for suppose call test activity if we pass the parameter pace current parameter pace all the parameters will be passed to this one if you don't select this checkbox if this activity is expecting any parameters they will be displayed here and and we can pass individually okay so the main question is difference between the call branch queue and another question can be like the parameter pace but nobody is asking nowadays for the parameter pace we can either we can we can tell like when we call the activity we can pass the current current parameter pace when we check the checkbox the current parameter pace will be called okay now another method here property set is the 99% used method everywhere property set is to set the value to the property left side is a we give property name right side what value we have to set to this property okay so call is over branch is over now collect collect method why do we use the collect method so we have collection rule right in pega in the collection rule we can, collection rule is nothing but like to execute the list of rules in an order okay so how to call the collection method is use the collect method give space and click on down arrow if you have any collection methods in the inheritance path you will get otherwise uh, okay nothing to that so if they ask what is the collect method or how to call the collect collection method collections from an activity you can simply say like we have the collect method when we use the collect method collection can be called okay and uh, is java java is using java method we can write custom java code here okay so pega is not recommending to use the java method unless it is very explicitly required and as a csa cws we don't need to write any custom java codes in our experience so you can reply like java method is used to write some custom java okay next pega is recommending uh, whenever we want to execute that uh, come some custom java code we can use the functions right so use the rule utility functions and all like that next after java we explained about q right next one is activity clear status for suppose here we have some property set or obj validate or obj open by handle obj refresh and lag some method is there which is failed whenever one step execution is failed that step status will be set as a fail error something like that warning good so if for suppose fourth step is failed the step step status is error then this activity status will be showing like a error if you want to clear the status error or warning uh, to good status then we can use this method that means normally whenever we are reiterating to the activity whenever we are entering into the activity we give like a activity clear status that means previous error status as warnings will be cleared and a fresh activity will be started so activity clear status will clear the messages like statuses and set the good status to that activity okay and next one activity end suppose if we would like to end the activity there are two methods if the question interview interviewer asked like how to end the activity so you have to answer wisely and more 
clearly when we get to any interview question how do we need to answer is we brief the answer we explain them the answer consume time some time if we answer like how to end the activity using activity end that's it if you answer like that you completed the question which you know the answer in within 5 seconds that means you are giving more time to the interviewer to ask more questions that means there may be questions which you don't know the answer whatever you know try to explain the answer in a clear manner try to kill the time try to get less questions by answering the noun questions by answering clearly so the question is how to end the activity if they ask you can answer like uh, there are multiple ways for suppose there is a step 10 after step 10 i want to i want to check the some status or i want to check one property value then exit the activity then what i will do is that 10th step post condition or jump condition i will check the property value equal to some value okay property 1 equal to some value 1 then i will jump to the last, last step i can jump to the last step which will remove the pages temp pages and exit the activity that is the commonly doing thing that we are ending the activities and there is one more way we have one method in activity which is called as a activity end and i will use that method to end the activity okay so yeah this is why uh, this is how we need to answer to them in a clearly in a in a explaining way take time don't answer in a hurry manner we are not in hurry okay interviewer is profiling you he is trying to understand you he is not scoring you okay that means you need to give your answers in a clear manner with a slow pace okay for suppose interview sometimes interviewer can be like they are in a hurry or they want on they, they are expecting the answers quickly then you have to answer quickly in a hurry manner normally you need to answer them in a very slow pace in a explanatory and in a good tone okay yeah and uh, yeah that's uh, that is the end of this video next we will go through the remaining all methods okay thank you friends